Hello and welcome to another small Svelte tutorial and this time we will look into how to make our app installable so how we can add it to our home screen and then it will be displayed in a separate window and not in the browser and um, but we will so this is regarding to the topic of PWAs which uh, which makes web apps feel more like native apps but uh, be assured I won't go into details. We will not look into how we can make our app offline usable. I will just um, yeah, show how you can make it installable. So to start off, we need to go to our code. And here we need to first add a small JSON to the static folder. So the static folder basically has static files. Um, and we're gonna add a manifest json and this gets a lot of information about the apps basic details and if you want to know more about what i tell you here i will link it in the uh, description also mdn web app manifests and here are all the properties we can set defined in a more specific way i will just uh, quickly go over what i used and we start off First, we need to open an object and the first properties are ID. So that's not an ID for the whole internet, just for your domain. You can set an ID to separate to another PWA, for example. Then we put a name and a short name and the short name is displayed in places where there's not a lot of space. So it's good to put both. Then uh, we also have start URL and scope and uh, scope is again for if you have multiple PWAs and start URL just says yeah the home page of our app or the starting page is this one so if you have multiple or you your app starts at slash app for example you have to put that in there and the next one are more like uh, appearance so we have a display attribute I use standalone, that's the mod most widely used one, but I can quickly show you how uh, what others are. So let's start off, full screen is the first one. That's basically, um, yeah, like in a game, for example, you use the whole screen and it don't have any UI elements. Standalone, as I mentioned, the most used, you get basically a, a small app bar and uh, settings behind three dots here so it's really slim also with mobile and if you want a little bit more in there you can add minimal user interface here have a back button and reload button and on the phone here you get uh, a bigger bar here on top um, so yeah I use standalone orientation um, you could use horizontal or vertical or if you support any, support any as most do just put any in here theme color is um, yeah in many operating system places um, um, where is it ah, here is it um, you can put this to to tell the OS what color should be used um, here for for example for the app bar on top and i used just our header color here or accent color and background color is the yeah if you have a dark mode app with with a dark background use that i used white then some more info about the content it's in english and from left to right and um at last we can define some icons so if you add it to the home screen this will get set as an icon or you can define splash screens if you start there but it will also use the icons and for that I also created here an icons folder I of course need to put the files in there and yeah I just quickly designed something in a few seconds so it's not that great but it works I guess and um, yeah, you just say which size you want. I, I, I use two, for example, on a mobile screen. You want a smaller one on a big screen. 
with a lot of pixels you might want a bigger one and the great thing is uh, the browser is uh, handling which to use you don't have to um, just have to put some here and the browser does all the work for you and as I said there are some more um, you could use um, one cool thing is for example is shortcuts where you can say uh, on a mobile if you long click on the icon you can directly go to a page for example you say oh, yeah, well, directly go to the albums page for example and you have a, the option and uh, another cool thing you could add is promotional fields so there are for example scanners or, or pwa app stores and they will use fields like description screenshots categories uh, so they can list your app or learn more about it but yeah this is it for our uh, json file here now we still need to load it actually so we have to go to our app.html and to load it we can just add a link here rel equals manifest and just href to the json great and if we now load this page again um, we can go to to uh, manifest here uh, it should this of course only works with chrome or i don't know where to find this in other browsers but uh, here it actually shows the info we have provided here and um, yeah, uh, we can see this This all works great. Last thing we need to do is actually do a service worker. A service worker is a small script that runs in the background. It can, for example, uh, check for updates um, or uh, enable offline features or notifications and more really powerful stuff. But as I said, we want to keep it really simple here. Um, so we are gonna you, uh, use the most simple service worker we can we do nothing in there but we have a service worker and also great thing you don't need to import it anywhere SvelteKit knows how to do it and it can be that you have to build your app yeah build for example to for for it to to really load this so it can be that it doesn't work in while developing the app. And if you don't know how you can build your app to Node, I have another tutorial for that. Check this out. I'm going to link it. And when our build is done, we can type yarn preview or npm preview. And then we get the production build of our app. And as you could see on top here, it's a little bit small. I know I can actually click install and it's showing us the icon and the name if i click install it downloaded it and we have this in a separate window and looking great so that's already it i all, of course have it also in my dock here in macOS, and um I can also find it in my in my home screen or in my app list. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for tuning uh, for for uh, clicking on this. And if you have any feedback or advice, please make sure to put it in the comments. And have a great day. Bye.